So in my last video, I told you the exact price that XRP had a target for, for which I said $1.20 to $1.25. Well, I was pretty darn close. It hit $1.27 for XRP's local high. Now, if you've been watching this bull run with Bitcoin and XRP, you've already seen that. And right now, as I'm making this video, it's about $1.12. Well, I'm going to be talking about what could be next for XRP in terms of the price action, what to look out for, but I'm also going to be talking about what the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, had to say about not just XRP, but cryptocurrency as a whole. But there are some specific tokens that I'm going to be mentioning in this video that could have an extra, extra boost in this bull run, and then I'm going to tell you why. Also, I have an exciting announcement to make for the Late Night Grind community, so go ahead and watch this video to find out. Hey everyone, my name is Randy, and welcome back to the Late Night Grind, and right now we are covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all those topics interest you, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community. If you do a couple things, I'd appreciate it. Smash the thumbs up button, watch this video all the way to the end, and of course, turn on that bell notification icon so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So first thing is talking about some of the XRP price action, and fair warning, Warning, this video will be a little bit of a warning. Previously, I had mentioned that XRP's target was about $1.20 to $1.25, hit $1.27. That was pretty darn good. It hit right up against that first Fibonacci level. If you're going back on the macro scale on the daily time frame, $1.22 was approximately uh, that target. Well, the next target, in case you're wondering, is $1.56. And in my opinion, that number is absolutely going to get smashed. But hold on, I don't think it's going to happen in the next day or two or necessarily in the next week. Week. It might, it may actually have to wait until Bitcoin has yet another run. And in the meantime, here's your warning about XRP. In my opinion, this could drop and it could drop very low. In fact, back down into the mid 90s is what some of the technical analysis showed. There's some bearish divergence on the RSI, the momentum waves, and the money flow are all pointing to an XRP price that could be seeing a dip. Now, will it dip fast? I don't know. That depends on what Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market is going to do. So here is your fair warning. If you're going to be trading XRP, you need to be looking out for those bearish divergences. And right now, on the one hour, the four hour, and the daily, there are a lot of there are a lot of bearish divergences. Bearish meaning, of course, that the price of XRP is probably going to retrace. But when you have a monumental price explosion like it's just seen it's only natural to have some to have some consolidation some profit taking probably holders that bought when it was a dollar several years ago uh, may may in fact be wanting out of xrp i don't know why but nevertheless that could be happening the other thing and the other thing to look out for that is cause for concern is that the volume of xrp transactions was actually going down as the price of xrp was going up it actually had spiked at right around 60 to 70 cents in terms of volume uh, and then it started to retrace however the price started going up but typically when you see price going up and volume coming down it means the price isn't going to go much higher, at least anytime in the next uh, near future. So all those things to say, beware, the price of XRP could be consolidating even further than we have seen so far. Okay, so now I want to talk about what Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, has just been mentioning about the crypto space and why essentially it could unlock massive liquidity for the crypto space. He sent out a post on X and it mentioned about unlocking about $800 billion dollars worth of excess liquidity into the markets. Now, what is he referring to? Well, the Trump administration has said they want to lower the corporate tax rate from 26% down to 15%. There's going to be significant corporate tax savings. And what that does is A, provides more liquidity to businesses, businesses that want to invest some of that liquidity either into Bitcoin, which is of course one of the more, which is of course one of the most profitable ones. Just ask Michael Saylor and his strategy, as well as expanding business, creating jobs, things like that. And of course, that's what the Trump administration is attempting to do with that. So what Brad Garlinghouse sees is that there is massive liquidity about to be unlocked because not only that, you're going to have some of this tax savings and liquidity from the very wealthy that are essentially buying not just Bitcoin, but the Bitcoin ETFs, which in my opinion, first quarter of next year may absolutely explode. And not only that, Michael Saylor announced that he wants to be buying approximately $42 billion worth of cryptocurrency for MicroStrategy. In fact, just this morning, he announced that they're buying another $4 billion worth of Bitcoin. So we have that as the backdrop. Uh, the last time I checked, the M2 global liquidity has plateaued. It was, it was actually retreating for the past uh, several weeks. It has plateaued, and there's a chance that that money supply 
could be going back up, especially in the United States with this new administration coming in. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Okay, now I wanna get into the cryptocurrencies that you really need to pay attention to. I mentioned some of them in my last video. These are the ones that initially had the biggest pumps like Cardano, Solana, XRP, Bitcoin, and a handful of others. And I saw a post on X and it made a lot more sense to me why specifically those cryptos were pumping, at least a lot more than the rest of the markets. And that is this. Donald Trump has said he wants to make the United States the blockchain capital of the world. He wants to make it a crypto friendly nation and essentially lead the world in the blockchain space. And he's actually teased the idea of getting rid of capital gains tax on cryptocurrencies. This is all huge news and it makes sense why those blockchains that I just mentioned, along with some others, as to why they pump so hard and that those are the United States cryptocurrency projects or the United or, or crypto projects that were issued from the United States that were created in the United States. Those are all the ones that pumped first and those are the ones that pumped the hardest. In my opinion, those might be seeing the biggest liquidity. It wasn't just because of all the media coverage or the YouTube coverage or the communities that are around these tokens. So I'm gonna go down the list right now and tell you which ones to look out for, not just now, but for the coming six months. Because in my opinion, these are probably gonna see some of the biggest gains outside, of course, meme coins that you just gamble with. And before I get into this, I wanted to mention something that I'm very excited about for the late night grind community. And that is, I am opening up a Discord for this community. I, I, had, I had talked about it it uh, a year or two ago and I should have done it then but I am doing it now so there is a link in the description below uh, along with the partners the trading platform partners of this channel uh, both Blowfin and BidFi which you can get big bonuses deposit bonuses and trading bonuses when you sign up on each one neither one are KYC both of which are United States friendly so go ahead and check them out the link for the discord is in below so we're just getting started so I would really appreciate if you're in discord community there's a lot of different things that I'm going to be following there of course the crypto markets the financial markets, uh, financial news, blockchain news, trading, posting trading gains, talking about trading strategies. We're going to have channels for all that. So I'm very, very excited. Click the link in the description below. I'd appreciate it if you go sign up and connect with me there. Okay, so let's start off with the ones I just mentioned. We have Bitcoin XRP, which was of course created by Chris Larson and David Schwartz in the United States, issued from the United States. And of course, Ripple, everybody knows what Ripple's business model is utilizing XRP. You have Solana, a United States blockchain project. Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, United States uh, crypto, crypto project. In fact, Charles Hoskinson now getting involved with the Trump administration in, in terms of helping create some guardrails, some guidelines for friendly crypto regulation. Uh, you have Tron, you have the NEAR protocol, which actually last year I covered several times on this video. Uh, Ethereum, of course, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, of course, which was created essentially to mock Bitcoin and has now become a big time part of the altcoin world. Litecoin, created in the United States. Ton, the Ton blockchain network. And of course you have Tether, USDT, uh, as, well, as well as Ripple's new stablecoin and a few other stablecoins that were issued from United States blockchain projects. And there's a handful of other smaller altcoins that were issued from United States projects. So let me know in the comment section down below if any of those are in your portfolio and you're following them specifically because, specifically because the United States could be coming a much more crypto friendly space. All right guys, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end, smashing that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.